Canva landing page, how to create a simple landing page using Canva. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple landing page using Canva. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to sign up for Canva and you can sign up with your email address, whatever email address you have, and you have to sign up for Canva to use it, but it is available for free. So once you have signed up, you're just going to go into your homepage and over here, you can see on your right, you have your custom size. So you're just going to click on custom size it's going to be selected in pixels you can convert it into inches if you want but in pixels you have to go with 960 and 720 and if you want to convert that into inches it's around 10 inches by 7.5 inches so if you want to do that you can do that and obviously the larger landing page design that you create it's going to be a lot more convenient but the larger it is the higher resolution it could be but it's going to be a bit difficult for you to later on fit it into your actual landing page so you have to keep that into consideration and I found that the size, you know, usually works the best. So you're just going to click on create new design over here and this will open up a blank canvas for you to get started with. So the first thing you're going to do is you can just select this canvas and then you can click on the color over here and you're just going to change the color into whatever you might want. So I really like pink and I'm just going to make it like a light shade of pink like this. So I'm just going to make it pink and then I'm just going to go into the element section on your left. So you can see on your left you have your elements and what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for frame and I'm just going to use one of these square frames. And the reason that I'm adding this kind of frame is to add my image. So if you want, you can add a simple square one or you can add this rounded one. I think I'm going to use a rounded one because I want to, you know, keep it a bit more simple and friendly. Now, once I have done that, I'm going to go into my photos and I'm going to upload my own photo. You know, if this is like a portfolio, you can upload your photo or whatever kind of um, landing page that you're creating. So maybe I'm doing this for like children and edu education or something like that. And I'm going to drag and drop this image onto my frame. So this enables you to resize images and to fit certain images into a specific area for representation. Now, after that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into my elements. I'm just going going to search for design over here and I'm going to go into the graphic section and I'm just going to look for like a stripe looking design or anything that I can place on the borders so I'm just going to scroll a bit and I'm just going to search for stripe design or search for borders and I'm just going to keep on scrolling down until I find something that I really like and I think this looks really cute so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to resize it. And this is one of those GIF images. Or you can just add the GIF images and they will be become still images when you download them. Or you can search for something else. But I'm just going to continue my search. And I think this is actually a pretty cute border. And this as well. I'm actually going to use this. I'm actually going to use the gold or this one. I think that this one looks better. So I'm just going to use this as my border. And I'm going to expand it. I'm going to place it at the top over here. And then I'm going to do control C and control V. And I'm also going to place it at the bottom, but I'm just going to flip it. So I'm just going to click on flip and vertically flip it. So it's placed like this. And then you can also place it on the sides, but I think it looks pretty good just on the top and bottom for now. And I'm just going to use this little design. I don't think I like this. So I'm going to keep it simple on the sides. And now after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the text section. I can use one of their font combinations if I want, or you can use like simple text. I'm going to use the font combination because I find that the designs are really good and they look really nice on any kind of landing page. So I'm just going to use one of the font combos. I think I'm going to go with this one because it's like super funky. So it could be like join our mission like this and i'm just going to resize the text and then i can just change the color of the text so i'm just going to go into the photo colors and maybe i just want like a navy blue i think that looks nice so i'm just going to add that over here and then i'm going to do Control c and Control v so i'm just going to copy this text block once more and i'm going to place it down below and i can add like our instagram or we are educating young children or you can add whatever information you want on your landing page and then you can add your contact information so you can add that in a smaller font or a different font if you want i think this one looks pretty nice so um our instagram like this 
our phone number and you can just resize those and what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna change the font for this because i want this to look a little simple a little easier to read i'm just gonna place it at the bottom of my page and obviously you're gonna add like more text or more images accordingly but I have just done this as a sample to show you guys how you can create like a simple landing page. Now, once you have aligned everything accordingly, you can just click on download over here and you can just download it in JPEG, you can download it in PDF form, or you can download it as a PNG. And you can find royalty-free images, you can find royalty-free graphics, and you can rename it from the top over here as well. So it could be landing page design. So you can rename it from here and then download it later on. And this is the great part about Canva is that it allows you to find royalty-free images, videos, audios, uh, graphics without having to go onto a different application. You can do all of your design work directly on Canva. And this is such a convenient and nice thing. You can not only design landing pages and your web page, you can create journals or art pieces or anything of that sort on Canva as well. Now, the best part about using Canva to design your landing page is that not only can you design your landing page once like if you want to update your product so let's say if you are you know using this for affiliate marketing then you can change up the images you can just delete the image go into photos and upload new images and add them onto the same gallery and then you're just going to have like the same entire template the same portfolio and you can just replace images and it will be a absolutely new landing page now another great thing that you can also do is that you can create a similar navigation panel for your landing page now landing pages usually don't have any kind of navigation panels but if you want to create a, a separate section on your navigation page you can just click on duplicate page over here and then you're going to have a duplicate of the page and then you're just going to remove any excess that you don't need so let's say i don't want any text and maybe i just want to add like a section called um our donations or the work we're doing or how we spend the donations or something like that i can add that over here and then i can use the same kind of template or the same design to add all of the other information or any kind of other panel that i want any kind of other page that i want to create on my website or my navigation panel now not only can you do that with Canva, you can also just leave this on save. So you can just save these. It will be auto-saved onto your Canva account. You can go back and start designing a, a another landing page and in the same time. And then you can compare the landing pages and uh, see which one you actually prefer and which one you would like to keep. So these are some of the great things that you can really do with Canva. Not only are you going to be designing a single landing page, but you can even save a template and use it for like five or six different landing pages just by changing up like the images or the text so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create and design your own landing pages using canva for free and make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the youtube channel as well and do share this video with someone you might think would actually really like to see this video and i will catch you guys in the next video